My name is Gregory Hamilton, and this is the Highway to Heaven and the 88 Easy Steps. Today is day 10, and we've been talking about why. And there's going to be a lot of whys when your employee comes up to work and says, Why do you want me to do this? Why do you want me to do that? Well, you as the boss have to know why, okay? So there's going to be a lot of different whys that's going to be happening here. What is it that I want to do with my life, my God-given purpose, to make me happy? Why am I doing this? And then why am, are we building the highway? Okay, and that's going to be a different why from why you're doing it. Why are we doing the notebook? Why are we doing the day-to-day -day question? And that is so that we can build on something and keep building, and keep building that highway and keep showing proof, not only to the employee when they come up and ask why, you sit there and say, look, here's the notebook right here. This is why we're doing it. Can't you see the progress? You're going to have to be your own, what's the word, you know, uh, pep crew. You know, who's going to keep the morale up? The boss does. Sometimes the employee comes up and says, oh, why am I doing this? I'm just doing the same thing I did yesterday. And that's right, we are. We're going to be doing the same thing that we did yesterday. And we're going to just keep doing this and we're going to slow down every day and every day and every day. Why am I even here? Why did God give me consciousness? Why do I ask these things? Why? So your why, the why you want to improve your position in life, is a mind thing, right? And the only thing in life that you can improve on is your happiness. Everything else will fall into place, but there's nobody that sits there and says that this is the lifestyle or the, the financial bracket or the place on earth to live that brings happiness. So those aren't the things. It's, it's right here. So why are we doing the notebooks? Again, to make sure that we've got proof to ourselves, to our employee, that we are making progress, that there is a, here it is. I mean, there's the bricks. They're right there in black and white, as they say, right? So what's going to be really funny about what's happening with this stuff is that with your notebook, it's going to take time. It's going to take time for you to stop and do this. And it's going to be adding to your life. And by adding this to your life, it will slow your mind down. Everything is always the chase in the tail. I don't, I, I, I'm just building the highway myself, right? So, uh, and that's the thing, you know, everybody has their day-to-day -day grind, everybody. So that's why it's so important to not follow what I'm saying. It's important that you follow what your notebooks are saying, because your notebook will get you to the point in time that you'll sit there and want to read the Bible. Have you ever heard of what you want to do? Have you ever asked yourself enough times to ask yourself enough times to hear it? So, pretty sure that's where your highway will go. So, remember that by adding this discipline to your life, just like you have to add the discipline to your employee when he shows up at work, you don't let him sit there and, you know, finish smoking cigarettes till 8.15 and finish their Starbucks coffee until 8.30. No, it's 8 o'clock. Let's get to work. It's the same thing here. The discipline of doing this every single day 
seems like it's, you know, who's got time to add more? But that's exactly what you're trying to do is trying to figure out how to balance everything. So the more that you're able to balance within your life, the more you're able to balance within your head. So put it down on paper, keep that notebook running. This is why you have your why, so that you know what you're doing, okay? So God bless you, patriots. I uh, pray for America, and I pray for you. Amen.